friends, I'm up in a tree with my owl friend. And the reason why I'm here with an owl is because we are going to be making some owl puppets. Come join me and I'll show you how I made them. All right, friends. So in the bag that you picked up from the library, you will find two burlap squares, two craft sticks, four chipboard circles, four googly eyes, two chipboard rectangles, two sparkly pipe cleaners, one piece of felt, one cotton swab, and one container of glue. Let's clear off our workspace, put something down to protect it, and get started. So this is just a piece of scrap paper that I have in order to protect my workspace. You will need scissors. Markers are optional. So the first thing we are going to do is bring over one of our chipboard rectangles and our burlap square. It's a square, right? But if you turn it this way so that there's a point facing up and down toward you, we are just going to fold in the points that are facing out to the sides. So we're gonna fold and make them meet in the middle. Now, can you just fold that and, and crease it as best you can? All right. And then we are going to, uh, when those are folded down, if you can hold that with one hand and then bring down the top point to meet those other two points. So we're gonna meet in the middle. So here's one, two, three points meeting in the middle and fold all those down. Now, once you release them, they'll pop back up again. And if you see, you have some folds here. So there's one, two, three folds. And what I'm gonna do now is bring my glue over and my cotton swab. Just gonna carefully open up my glue. And I'm gonna dip my cotton swab in the glue, roll it around a little bit so that it doesn't drip. And then I'm just going to put glue all over this triangle here, right? It forms a triangle when you fold it. I'm going to put glue all over each of the triangles. So one triangle. Grab some more glue and twist it so it's not dripping. Two triangles here. and three triangles. All right, and you may get some burlap that comes off. That's okay. You can take it off of your cotton swab and put it aside Oop, if it comes off. There we go. All right, and then I'm just going to fold those in. It does take a little bit of time for all of this to adhere. And the other thing is you'll see that there's some glue coming out onto your chipboard square and that's actually what we want. So your or your chipboard rectangle I should say and that's actually what we want because this is going to stay on your chipboard rectangle. So see now we have a little bit of a an owl forming. There are going to be some maybe some things that, um, some strings that are coming off. You can just pull those off if you don't like to have them hanging off like that. That's okay. It just adds to the character of your owl. And the next thing we are going to do is bring over two of our chipboard circles and glue those on. These are going to be the eyes. Did you guess that? I bet you did. So we're going to have one eye 
and another I. Great, those look like owl eyes almost already, but if you bring over your, the googly eyes, one, two googly eyes, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put those googly eyes right on top of those chipboard circles. If you get a little messy, it's okay, because all of this glue is going to dry clear. Here's the other one. There we go. Now bring over your sparkle pipe cleaner and I'm gonna ask you to fold it in half. So that's bringing it just together so that each length is equal. And it'll look something like this, like a U or like you can squeeze it tight and that, that'd be a V. But that, now I'm gonna ask you to, with your pointer finger and your thumb, hold on to that U or V shape that you made, okay? Next thing, we're just gonna twist right there, twist once or twice, and that's gonna be your owl's beak. Now, if you wanted to make it into a point, shape it somehow, that's gonna be your owl's beak. Owls have pointy beaks, so I'm just gonna make it into a point. And then I'm gonna just place it here. And I want these to come around my owl's eyes. So I'm just gonna kinda do that around the eyes. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is make sure that this can glue on. Turn it over. And I'm gonna put glue on my glitter pipe cleaner. All right. And flip it over so that the glue goes onto the owl like that. Now you might need to hold this down for a little bit to make sure that it sticks and stays in place. And like I said, after this dries, the glue will dry clear. Okay, so things are drying and that's good. The next thing that you do need are your scissors. So what we're gonna do is, do you see this extra chipboard here? We don't want that to be showing, so I'm just gonna cut off that chipboard there and this chipboard here. There we go. All right, so you're gonna have those and you can recycle those. Now the next thing that you want to do is make feet for your owl. And the way that we're gonna do, we're gonna use this felt here and fold it in half and go ahead and cut the felt in half. And now one half is for the other owl because you notice you have two, um, you have enough materials to make two owls. So put that aside and then fold in half again and just go ahead and cut that. So these are gonna be your owl's little feet. And put them on your owl just to see how you would like them to be. So those are gonna be your owl's feet. The next thing I'm just gonna have you do is go ahead and clip little triangles out. So there's one. And see how that made a little triangle there? And now I'm gonna clip a little tiny clip there and that's how you can make the feet so just little clips and it doesn't have to be perfect and they don't even have to match if you wanted to make them a little bit of a different shape on top you can so there there's my owl's little foot 
if you can see that. All right, and now I'm just gonna glue that on. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the back and put it right where I think my owl's feet would be in the position that I want my owl's feet. And I'm also gonna just kind of make sure that it stays by putting a little more glue. So here's another little piece of felt for your owl's feet. And again, just so I'm going from the corner, just a tiny little clip there, and I'm cutting out a little triangle. So it looks like that. And then I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna go from the end, the end point, and cut on the diagonal. There we go. And then I'm gonna come to this point and make a little triangle that I'm gonna take out of there. And there's my other foot. And like I did on this one, I'm just gonna angle these a little bit so that it looks more like an owl's foot. It's totally up to you. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Totally up to you. They still, they look good just as they are. And then I'm going to put some glue just a little bit. Try not to get too much on your, on your cotton swab there. And I'm going to place that on my owl. So there's my owl's feet. So cute. There's my little owl. Hoo -hoo. Now, as it's starting to dry, I'm going to turn it over and bring over my popsicle stick because these owls are actually going to be puppets. So we are going to glue our popsicle stick onto our owl. If you want, you can even color your popsicle stick with a marker so that it has a little bit of color. So I think I might do that. And there's my orange popsicle stick or craft stick. And so now I'm just going to glue that on. Um, and how I want to glue that on is I'm going to put it about halfway up, maybe a little bit more than halfway up the owl. So maybe two thirds of the way up the owl. And I'm going to put the glue right on the popsicle stick up until where I need it. So I'm going to, um, if you see this is going to be where the popsicle stick will go. And I'm just going to make a note that from here on up, I'm going to glue my popsicle stick. I'm going to put glue on my popsicle stick. There we go. And it comes down to a point, doesn't it? So we're just gonna do that. And now I'm just gonna place my popsicle stick right in the center and about two thirds of the way up. And now I'm gonna turn it over carefully and just let that dry. I can apply some pressure here. It will move around a bit, so just be careful with that. So. Um, and that, once we, once it dries, that is going to be your little popsicle stick owl puppet. And like I said, you have enough material to make two. So there's another owl. And if you want, you can even, oops, <laughs> it's a little wet still. If you want, you can even embellish with some eyelashes or something else so you can make your owls your own so there are your owl puppets and remember as always we have to clean up i just thought of something i wanted to make these look more like horns so i just i just bent them up a little bit and i really like that so have fun with your owls, make them your own, and I hope you enjoy playing with them as well. I hope you enjoyed making your owl puppets today. Please let me know how you enjoyed this craft and check out our calendar for more DIY crafts. Thanks so much for joining me today, friends. Have a great day. See you soon.
Bye-bye. Hoo, 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 hoo.